Hello and welcome to this course of Make Stories 101. In this course, we are going to take a look at how to use Make Stories to create beautiful web stories. The first thing that you will want to do is go to makestories.io website and click on the login or the sign up for free button. So now this is the old website and soon we are going to have a new one. So in the new website, you will definitely have the login and sign up buttons in the top right corner only. So when you click on the login, it will take you to a URL where the entire Make Stories app runs. This is pretty simple like any other uh, login form. So what I have, so you can either create an account by clicking on create an account. You can sign up with email. You can log in with Apple or log in with Google. I will click on login since I already have my account on makestories.io. And now I will click on sign in with Google because that is what I use. I will use one of my accounts and I will log in. So now here you can see that while I have logged in, there is an option that says me create or choose your workspace to get started. So this is my workspace and then these are some other workspace where I'm already a member. So what is a workspace? So by default, you will have only one workspace, but let's say you are a team or a small agency and you want to create a workspace where all the members can access all the content that you have created in such a case what you will do is you will create a new workspace by clicking this button you don't need to worry about creating this workspace from the screen only you will this you will see the screen when you log in uh, so this is similar to what you see on netflix where you have multiple profiles uh, in same way you have workspaces over here so right now what I will do is I will click on my workspace. So as soon as I am in my workspace, you can see that all the stories that I have created in the past, they have come over here. But uh, since you will be uh, creating your account for the first time, all of this will be empty and you will see a white screen over here. Now you can see that in the top left corner, I can switch between multiple workspaces. So let's say I have another workspace specifically for make stories. I will click on make stories and I have the, the entire thing will change. Now, uh, make stories will specifically remember the last workspace that you were in. So let's say I will just close this particular uh, tab and I'll again open the app. So you can see that it's, I am still in the last uh, workspace that I had selected. So now you can see that when you are in a workspace, uh, you can you have different menu options. And when you are in my workspace, you have different items. So my workspace is basically uh, your own workspace. You cannot add members over here. And when you go on a workspace, you can see another option called members. So what is this members is that you can you can have multiple as I told you, you can have multiple members within your um, organization, join make stories workspace and you can all work together. So this is about, uh, you know, like logging in, creating an account with make stories, selecting the default workspace and you creating a new workspace. So now the next step that we are going to do is we will create a new workspace. So let's say I want to create a new workspace with the name uh, Make Stories uh, University. And then here I will select the industry called content and I can upload my logo. Uh, let's say Make Stories. So I will select my Make Stories logo and I will add it over here. You can also have your cover photo. I'll click on save and continue. And then here you can see that I have an option of uh, inviting different people from my team in this particular workspace. So I will invite my colleague Chintan. And then over here you can define if you want to add him as an admin or an, as an editor. So now when you will add someone as an admin, they can go in and they can add and delete members from a particular workspace. Uh, you can keep on adding as many people as you want. Uh, so I will add another team member, Ripple. 
and so on. So now what happens is that as soon as you add the uh, their name, their account will be created in the MacStories uh, a system, and they will get an email saying that someone is inviting you to join a workspace. So now I will click on continue. And it's simple. Your workspace has been created. And now you can see that there is a Make Stories University workspace over here. And then these are the members. And till the time you don't have someone um, being accepting your invitation, it will say invited. And if that particular person has joined this workspace, uh, you can uh, you, this invited will change to the kind of a member he is if he's an admin or if he is an editor now the next thing that you can do is you can if someone says that i have not received an invitation you can send them an invitation by clicking on recent invitation uh, if you want to remove a member you can just click on remove and if you think that you still want to add more members to this workspace you can enter their email id and hit the continue button so now but but you need to remember one thing uh, that starting from uh, January 2022 uh, workspaces like like the the default workspace is included in the plan or in the free plan that you might have opted in for uh, but if you want to create a new workspace there are different pricing that applies to workspaces we will be launching this pricing on our website very soon so before creating and extensively using the workspaces please make sure that you know and you ask uh, if, if you really cannot find anything about the workspaces please connect with us our live chat and we will explain you like what are the pricing for the workspaces going on so that's it in this course uh, we have seen how you have you can log in and how you can create your own workspace and how you can switch between multiple workspaces as a member thank you